Cincinnati's woman's discrimination complaint against her landlord resulted in her facing up to 25 years in prison. Today, U.S. attorneys unsealed two federal charges against Dermisha Pickett. WCPO 9 News reporter Sean Delancey shows us why investigators started to question her claims. Back in March, we had talked with landlord Sergey Brisman, who said that he had vehemently denied trying to evict Dermisha Pickett because she was black. Pickett had threatened to sue him, but now she is facing federal charges. She's accused of trying to make up evidence to get Brisman in trouble. In March, Dermisha Pickett threatened to sue her landlord, Sergey Briskman, claiming he threatened to evict her. Her attorney, Fanon Rucker, provided WCPO text she claimed proved Briskman tried to kick her out because she's black. If it doesn't make everybody who hears this angry, then folks need to check the post. But after HUD started investigating, things didn't add up. This criminal complaint for Pickett says that she faked the texts and the recorded voicemail used against Briskman. Court documents show a forensic analysis of Pickett's phone identified data packets from two unique fake text programs that could not fake a time code down to the second. In the key text, seconds were all zeroed out, something investigators called highly irregular. As for the supposed voicemail... Do you don't want any African American in the house? Uh, I need you to hurry and give me my key. Investigators say that came from a disposable phone that, quote, in truth and in fact, that number is actually tied to Pickett or a close associate of Pickett and not Briskman. This is a pretty extreme situation. Attorney J. Thomas Hodges, who generally represents property owners, agreed with the U.S. Attorney's assessment that Pickett's accusations against Briskman, if false, could have a chilling effect on legitimate discrimination complaints. If you just look at it on its face and you say, a tenant who made a complaint is now facing a criminal charge for that complaint. If that's the takeaway, there's no doubt if I'm a tenant, I'm thinking, you know, twice about making any complaint. But Hodges argues people shouldn't look at this as a flaw in the system. Instead, he says it's proof HUD investigations work. They were actively investigating. They they looks like they switched some of the burden to the landlord to to, to produce some evidence and stuff. And, and, and that's when the tenant got caught. Now, attorney Fanon Rucker says that he no longer represents Pickett and can't comment any further. I reached out to new representative for Pickett and also a representative for Bristman, but didn't hear back. At the federal courthouse, I'm Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News.